Look at the size of these strawberries. Here's my hand, and look, look at that one. It's that absolutely massive, the strawberries around here. I mean, there's little ones there, obviously they must be a different variety, but they're whoppers. But you can just come here, get the strawberries, because they've got fields full of the things. They're actually growing something different there. But there's loads of strawberries around here. And actually, while you're here, look, you can get some free stuff. They're not ready yet, but look. <sighs> Now is this a raspberry or a blackberry? The way to tell is, you pull at it, that's a raspberry. See how it comes out without the, the end part there? So that's a raspberry, wild raspberries. Look, help yourself. So get some of them, get some of the strawberries and make yourself something nice. And there's a nice Scottish thistle. Beautiful here. birds we've put a little bit of seed out there for the birds because um, I saw I think it was some kind of finch but it, it moved off because we're surrounded by these thick ferns but they're darting in and out of trees because we saw like a bird strike where I think a pigeon had been taken by a predator so there may mm -hmm. be a very wary round here but we're in Kinclavan bluebell woods unfortunately we're a little bit later in the year so there may be no bluebells left but beautiful dead quiet look nobody around 
so really nice so far. But anyway, we need to go because we need to be shh, quiet. Yeah, we're waiting on the birds. We're waiting on the birds, so bye bye. We're still here. Uh, we just heard a Eurasian nut hatch. Of course, we both knew that. We didn't have to use an app to find out. We both knew that that's what, from its call. Um, but it was a nut hatch, and I've just explained. Um, you know, it was the funny the way they walk up and down the tree like there's no gravity. Um, we heard it. And it's like a peep, 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 peep. That's its call. Morse code. Yeah, it's Morse code, and it, it was almost like it was signaling to the other birds to say, "There's a little bit of free food here. Get yourself down." So we'll wait. We'll wait a bit longer. We're on a a, little, we're a on log a mission. here. We're on a mission to get the the nut hatch. We want log. the nut hatch. So we'll get back here. If we don't get back here, hang on, I've got a fly on my head there. If we get back here, we'll, we've found one. So we're off. Bell Woods here and I'll give you a quick 360 just so you can see we're surrounded by trees and ferns and there's a huge tree over there I want to have a look at it might be a big beach which you identified mm -hmm. um, so we'll have a look we're under a massive tree if I come away in fact listen see that cracking underfoot that would suggest we're at a beech tree in fact it is there's beech stones there so look at the size of that tree Beautiful place here, yeah, totally unspoiled. Although obviously man has been here, you can see how the how thin the trees are. That's done by humans, obviously it's thinned out. Um, but wow, what a place! In fact, look, look at the scale of the trees. Look, massive.
sign here. Obviously that's for the route, but you see here, P, 15 minutes. What that means is in 15 minutes time, you can go for a P. Is that right? No, it means parking. <laughs> Just a quick video. We've just we've just come back from now. I'm not reading off a sign here. You understand? I know it's off the top of my head. King Clavin, King Clavin, Bluebell Wood. Sign. It's just there. Oh, oh, that's that's <laughs> handy. That's off. I forget I can, I can refer to that sign. We've just come back. This is just a little quick one. We're not going to rabbit on for hours and go on about all different subjects. Neither of us knew anything about this, but it's an ancient woodland, very beautiful. And we spoke to an old guy who was an ex para. So that's the paratrooper. So he jumped at Easton during the war they jump out with the parachutes behind enemy lines so nice to see him and unfortunately he was having a bit of bother with his uh, calf. calf so he was on a stick so sad to see that but I, I like to see the fact he was still getting out he was a wee blather eh ah, nice bloke though really nice yeah, he was lovely. And I think he's from Perth he said he came out here didn't he but originally yeah. he was from somewhere else uh -huh. uh, but lovely so we heard Nuthatch we heard Wrens yep Oh, there's been loads in that short, well, we, we made the most of the walk. It was a, quite a short walk, but short we made the, the, the most of it and we sat at the cairn, so... Yeah, there's a circular, yeah. so halfway mm -hmm. through the circular we broke off to go to the cairn at the top and sat and had some meat and then came back to the circular and continued back to the car park. So a beautiful area. Yeah, it's lovely. We really liked it. So if, if anyone was just passing or near Perth and they wanted to quickly jump into here, mm -hmm. would you recommend it? Oh, definitely. And there's just over there, just at the entrance to the car park, there's a little mm. safe there and it's got punnets of strawberries that yes. you can leave. What, uh, is it just a donation? It does, I think there was a price list. There's oh, there's a price list. There's, punnets, so. there's little strawberries and mm -hmm. large ones. But the strawberries here are amazing because the Famous. soil up here in Perthshire is fantastic. And I know that they sell a lot of the strawberries here to Marks and Spencers. Um, but the, 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 I think you maybe got a picture of it, didn't you? I did at yeah. the beginning. So, so that, that would have been at the right beginning the of this se mm -hmm. segment, yeah. So very nice. Well, we'll try them and we'll let you know how lovely they are. Yeah, I haven't got... The problem is I haven't got any coins. Yeah, I think I've got some coins. If I've got so. some coins, that's fine. Because obviously if you're leaving money, you kind of use a card. Um, that's the problem with a cashless society. Yeah, I think I've got some coins here. We'll, we'll have a look around. We'll have a look around. We'll fish around. I. But this we should be okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have a look. I think I might have some spare in the, in the bag there. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend this place. It's a sensible walk. It's not massive, but you can make it longer and go rooting around these different little tracks. And bird life, very, very good. Yeah. And bugs as well. Oh, bugs. Loads of door Brilliant beetles. Bugs. Loads of them. And underneath they had the blue flash, the, the, the iridescent blue. Beautiful uh -huh. things. Slow moving, but very interesting. Really, yeah. really good. A lot of different trees and... Mm -hmm. Things like that as well, and but two, it's really nice. And I saw two ticks. Mm -hmm. and you went, yeah. you went, I hate yeah. them. Which is, sat in one. which is fair enough because they can spread Blood diseases suckers. in humans. Yeah, they're not good for you. So with that, we're going to move on because we want to check out a secret cafe yeah. called Strawberry Deluxe or something. What's it <laughs> called? Strawberry Cafe, I think. What was that as pop group? Strawberry. Strawberries and cream. No, no. <laughs> what were they called? Strawberry Bazaar or something. <laughs> I don't know. You've been singing some bizarre songs recently. That's some I really, really good ones from the eighties. No, terrible. Well, actually, I was listening to um, Megadeth. So you, you like a bit of Megadeth, don't you? Oh, good. I was listening to Symphony of Destruction. Uh -huh. So all the metalers who watch this will know what that's about. 
very interesting. Okay, so uh, thank you for joining us in this segment. But we'll, it's time to move on because yeah, we can't we just be waffling go. all day. We've got strawberries to pick up. I've got stro- well, uh, eat. You can yes. pick them up, I'll eat them. Right. <laughs> We're off. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>
sat by the river at the cathedral. Look how peaceful it is. We've got a haul. We went to Livy's little lunchbox. We've got a healthy tuna sandwich. What else did we get? Chocolate orange muffin. Not so healthy. Chocolate orange muffin, very healthy. I'll put that out. It's me I would we'll keep that wrapped up because it's just gonna melt. So I'll put that out of the sun and a massive scone. Sad of that. And then what was that? Haggis? No, black pudding and Oh, black pudding sausage roll. So for people who don't know what a sausage roll is, it's basically ground pork meat and then in the middle is a black pudding and then pastry, flaky pastry. So that looks very interesting. I've never had that before. And then because we're being healthy with all that pastry, diet coke can't go wrong. Right, we're gobbling. Enough of this. Right, we're here in Pit Lockery and I think that's Eridor Burn down there, in other words, a river. You may be able to hear it, the running water. And we're looking for the Black Spout. Now, although the Black Spout sounds like some sort of hose pipe in the garden, it isn't. I think it's a waterfall. Um, beautiful area, Pit Lockery. Um, we're just having a flying visit and then we're going to go back up the road to where we were. Uh, but we'll, we'll share what we'll find here. Just a short half mile walk to the spout. And we'll have a look and judging by the name it will probably be some sort of waterfall there's loads of flowers here look look at that one look how spiky it is in the sun there isn't that brilliant beautiful and you've got little buttercups here look all the little buttercups beautiful uh, so we'll see what we're going to spot mm -hmm. 